audio visual device to see <laughs> how well this works. So we're going to go around the room. Good morning, everybody. I'm Leslie Bedner from IHLS. I'm Ellen Poppet from IHLS. I'm Susan Mullen from Heron City Library. I'm Carol Hogan Downey from IHLS. I'm Erin Steinsultz from Crab Orchard Public Library. And I'm Sarah Taylor from IHLS. I'm Matt Kasky from IHLS. I'm Dina Porter, also from IHLS. Excellent. So we are going to go ahead and shift into our updates. And Leslie, I'm going to turn it over to you for the first of our IHLS updates. Okay. Good morning again. Um, this is the time of the year that um, IHLS is involved in looking backwards at the previous fiscal year, which is FY 2023, and our current fiscal year, which is FY 2024. So the for the first, um, we're putting together all the elements in uh, what is um, called the annual report. This is a requirement by the Illinois State Library. The two primary uh, pieces of that report are a fiscal audit, our financial statements, and also um, a narrative that tells the story of what our staff did during the fiscal year. For the latter, we are using a different approach to planning out our years. If you, if you pay a lot of attention to our um, operational plans every year, you may notice that there are some times that we um, say we're going to do something in one fiscal year and it doesn't happen until a following year. We're, we're going to take a much better and more targeted planning approach with that so that um, we can stay on target and, and complete as much as we possibly can um, of that incredible to-do list um, each year. So that's a bit about what's happening at like from the administrative side. I can go next. Okay, Kate? Oh, that's perfect. Okay. okay. And then, and then after you will, after Ellen's update, we will move to Jill Trevino would like to share an update. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm Ellen Poppin, as I said, at IHLS. And along with Leslie talking about this being a season um, of looking ahead and looking back, um, we're also looking ahead to a pretty busy conference season. So we have staff people preparing to go to the Association of Rural and Small Libraries Conference. Um, and as exciting as that, we have staff who will be participating in sessions as presenters. Um, Anna Yackel is going to be part of a couple hybrid sessions. We have member libraries who are presenting. So we're really excited to see the IHLS contribution to this organization. Um, in addition, we're getting ready for the ILA and the IELTS conferences. And the people in the department are really pretty busy. Um, you see what Kate's up to today, and you know that she's done a great job preparing Members Matter and Third Thursday events through the end of the calendar year. Um, Leah Gregory, our school library coordinator, is doing a lot of work with back to school activities currently. Um, she's meeting with a group of school librarians who are in the service area of Lakeland College today, and we're really excited to see the work that Lee is doing. And Annie Apple is working hard on the trustee training grant that will be uh, given a sneak peek at the Illinois State Library on August 30th. So we're all keeping busy and we're all also happy whenever anybody's interested in a site visit or has a question, please pick up the phone and call us and we're happy to respond. That's all I have, Kate, I think, if, unless anybody has a question. Give it a moment for questions. And Sarah Taylor is monitoring the chat for us today. So I'd like to give a huge thank you to her and to Matt Kasky, who is monitoring the technical equipment. So Jill, I'm gonna invite you to go ahead and unmute and share yourself. Thank you and give an update for us all. Great, thank you, Kate. I appreciate that. Um, my name is Jill Trevino and I am the HR Director here at Illinois Heartland Library System. Um, I have over 15 years of HR experience in various industries, and I just wanted to take some time today um, to let you know of some resources here at IHLS to help you with your human resources needs. 
Um, first and foremost, back in October of 2022, we rolled out the sexual harassment prevention training. So I'm very excited that we have had over 250 individuals sign up for this training. Um, it is a module and a free resource to all of our libraries and their staff, as well as their trustees. So um, if you're looking to meet the state training requirements for the uh, sexual harassment prevention training, please go out there on L2. You can find um, the newest sign up under the November 17th date. So um, if you wanna go ahead and sign up for that, please do. Um, and then the next one is super exciting. So we've recently rolled out the HR consulting piece. Um, and that is where you can book some time with me to maybe talk over a employee discipline matter or maybe a matter of a, a legal matter you're not sure how to handle. I can't give legal advice, but I can give um, some professional advice to help you talk through it. A lot of times with these sensitive issues, we just need somebody to talk through the situation to figure out what is the best course of action for us to take. So you can go out onto our website. If you go to our website and go to services, um, there is a consulting button there. And then there is a business expert is in. And then you can click on the go to the calendar and you can uh, schedule some time with myself. Um, right now, the modules that are set up are the HR module. Marketing and Communications has a module set up too. You can uh, book some time with them as well. Um, and then hopefully we'll be rolling out some other departments uh, consulting from that. But as always, I know sometimes HR matters are sensitive and they just kind of happen very quickly. So please, um, I encourage you to reach out to me. Um, you can get my contact information on the website. You can contact me directly. You can send me an email and I am more than happy uh, to help you out with any of your HR needs. Um, and second, or the last one is an HR grant opportunity that we have. So I am super excited to be able to announce that we are going to have a grant opportunity that will be available soon through IHLS um, and our partners, partnership with HR Source. Um, many of you have probably heard us talk about HR Source. Um, HR Source um, is a company that specializes in human resources needs. The great thing about HR Source is they do have attorneys um, that are available to speak with you on their hotline. So that's fabulous. So I just wanted to give a shout out. Please watch soon for some fish, uh, official announcement and uh, further details that are to follow um, on that opportunity. So we'll get those out to you through the newsletter um, and also on our uh, website. So um, that's all I have right now, unless anybody has any questions for me. Um, as always, I am available. Please feel free to go ahead and reach out to me um, at any time. That's what I'm here for, to help you all out. You know, we, you know, we did have a couple questions coming sure. through the chat. Um, let's see, the first question, um, is that just a one-time requirement or annually? Uh, one-time requirement or annually for the training, the sexual harassment training, or I guess I just need a little clarification on, is it the training we're discussing? Are you yes. thinking so? Yes, okay. Yeah, if it's the training, um, it is an annual training, so you do have to complete that every year. Um, and the great thing about our module is you will get a certificate upon completion. So at the very end, you have to take a test and you must pass at a 70% rate. But once uh, your employee gets that certification, they can give it to the HR director so that way you can have it in the files. So if you're ever audited or need to give that information out to the state, you have that uh, available um, paperwork. So, um, um, are trustees required to take the training? Um, I want to, I, I'm not 100% certain on that from a trustee standpoint. Ellen, can you elaborate with that? Are they required to do the training? We can, we can double check that and let people know, Jill. I know okay. looking at the registers, we do have a lot of trustees who take it. Yeah. On the end. We do. Thank you. Thank you, Ellen. What else can I answer for you? 
And the next question has to do with trustees as well. So I think we'll have to answer that one later. Okay. Um, is it annually for them as well? Yes. If they're if they fall within that requirement, I would assume it would be annually. But Ellen's going to confirm whether or not um, they are part of that group that must have that training. Thank you, Jill. If there's any other questions, you know, you can reach Jill um, at Jill T. Jill Trevino at IllinoisHeartland.org or else book a consultation time with her. Absolutely. And um, if you don't know how to spell my last name, you can reach me at hr at IllinoisHeartland.org. Um, I will be more than happy to answer any questions I'm at that email address as well. Thank you all. I appreciate the time and the opportunity to speak today. Thank you, Jill. And then before we have our share update, I do see that Anna Yackel, who is our one of our membership coordinators and public library liaison, did reply in the chat that trustees do need to take the annual sexual harassment training. Good. And now I'm going to turn it over to Jennifer to give us the share update. Good morning, everyone. I am Jennifer Ball. I am the share bibliographic services manager, and I just have a couple of things. Um, Cassie is out this week, so she asked that I pass this information along. We have started working with the Aspen, Aspen implementation team, so we can hopefully start getting Aspen pushed out to our first cohort of users later this fall. So please keep an eye out for any information regarding that, and we'll be reaching out to those libraries specifically. And then we've also had three new school members go live and share. Freeburg Area Community High School, Giant City Schools, and Greenview K through 12. So we are thrilled to have those three with us, and we are looking forward to working with them going into the future. Any share questions that I can answer? Okay, thanks, Kate. Okay, hey, thank you, Jennifer. And then now I'm going to turn back on our camera here in the room, and we I'm going to turn it over to Carol for a communications update. All right, thank you so much, Kate. Um, so I am Carol Hogan Downey, the Communications and Advocacy Administrator here at IHLS. Um, so the main update that we have at the moment, if you didn't already see it in the newsletter, I'm going to pick this up. Um, I don't know if the camera would actually be able to pick that up, but uh, the IHLS store, formerly called the uh, Red Bubble Store, the IHLS Red Bubble Store, um, we have re- uh, designed a couple of the, or all of the designs, sorry. So they're all from the ground up IHLS done. I drew most of them. Um, and so you can't, you won't find them anywhere else. And we put them on Spreadshirt now. Uh, we're going to be sending people there instead of Redbubble. The sizing is much more inclusive, though it's still not perfect. There are some things that you cannot get above like a 2X. If that is you, you want something like a sweatshirt, I've already heard one of the main issues. Um, and you want a design above a 2X, for the moment, you can reach out to us and we can find another way to get it to you. Um, I, I hate to make you do that. That's not fair. Um, and it's not inclusive. It's the best option we've got for the pricing and everything. Um, but for those of you who are not familiar with the store, you can get all kinds of fun designs. I have some stickers here, actually. Um, this sticker, that's not up yet. Um, there's this, you may have seen our school's liaison, Leah Gregory, wearing a shirt with, there's no way you're going to be able to see this. <laughs> it's a design that says support school libraries. We have a few other really fun designs, um, some more gender neutral looking and some more on the girly side. Uh, but you can get all kinds of cool merch with that. The proceeds will be funding a marketing micro grant for our member libraries, so you can feel good about doing it. Um, and yes, yeah, so it's on the spreadsheet. You can find it also from our website. If you go to about and then IHLS store, you can find it right there. Um, can you put the link in the chat for us? Sure. Yeah. Um, I am not on zoom, but I can pop in and do that. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. That's all I've got for now. Thank you, Carol. Of course. And we have a very exciting delivery update. <laughs> Correct. Well, yes. Yes, I'm looking at Ellen, but Ellen is not the person that I need to look at for that. Colleen, would you like to turn on your screen and give us an update on delivery? Hi.
Hi, everyone. Um, I wanted to introduce myself. I'm the new Delivery and Facilities Director at IHLS. I am coming from the Finance Department, and I've just started this week, so I'll be learning all things delivery. Um, currently, we're preparing for uh, back to schools and getting everything prepared for that. And that's really all the major update I have right now. So please reach out to me if you have any delivery concerns. Thank you, Colleen. Okay, and then we heard from Ellen with membership. Was there anything? Aaliyah is unable to join us today, Leah Gregory, because she is heading towards uh, Lakeland Community College for an event this afternoon with our school librarians. And speaking of school librarians, the next third Thursday CE will feature um, a job workforce readiness toolkit. Um, from our aisle and the silk chapter of aisle. So Leah Gregory, Gregory will actually be talking about that. Please go to L2. We've been putting everything into L2 for the rest of the year at least. So you can always search for events on L2. Like if we have, we're adding more regular school library and networking and professional development. And we have our third Thursday CE. And if there's anything that you would like to see as far as topics, please let us know. Does anybody else have any or IHLS news to share? We're good for now. Okay, <laughs> excellent. <laughs> yes, yeah, so, and then is there anything, we're gonna give it a couple minutes, is there any questions or issues that any of our members joining us today would like to bring up. You can either unmute yourself and turn on your camera and ask verbally, or you can put it in the chat. We'll give a couple minutes to see if anybody has any issues they would like or any questions. Yeah, we're while we're waiting, Leslie does have an update do, for us. Hi, Nan. I just have a little bit of an update. I, mean, I know a lot of you have already returned to in-person meetings um, at your libraries for your monthly board meetings. We're doing the same at Illinois Heartland Library System. We began in May meeting at our three, hosting the meeting at our three hubs. Um, we, for August, we plan to add two new locations. The first is C.E. Brown. Um, library in Mount Vernon. Thank you to the kind folks there for um, making their space available. And the second, the additional location is the Illinois State Library in Springfield. And, and many thanks to our friends um, at the Illinois State Library for making their location available as well. Thank you, Leslie. Well, I don't see that anything has come in on the chat. We want to thank you all again for joining us today. This is going to be a pretty short members matter. Oh, we do. Uh, Sarah, would you read what just came in the chat sure. for us? Um, one question. Um, if there could be an attorney approved policy available that we could use at our library, it would be appreciated. Um, I want to get the wording correct to know that we are compliant to the new law. Okay, we will definitely check into that. So. Um. Okay, well, this is going to be a pretty short Members Matter meeting. Um, thank you all for joining us today, and we hope to see you next month. It'll be in person at Chatham, and as always, we'll be a hybrid on Zoom, and we do invite you to come join us in person if you can. So everyone have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.